okay sorry i don't know what was the issue uh, actually it was not coming when you press products it should give you the option where you have to install all these uh, products like i have uh, if you noticed if you have noticed uh, that and the other app like for example test there was no product but i could not uh, add i don't know why so i came to the another app which i already created before by the name of hamad i already had these products so if you don't have the product you have to add the webhook then click webhook and here you have to subscribe to this object okay click here you have to provide the api which you have created and here you can give the uh, any you know token access token so that you know the facebook can access your web api okay so i hope you will not have any issue you can just give uh, you will develop an api you will give uh, the url here uh, you have to publish it somewhere you know uh, on public ip but uh, it should be secure http is not http it will not accept the http and you can give any access token here now let me come to the web api which i have developed in uh, .NET. okay so here it is we i have a post api and uh, by give it the name webhook like you can give it this way like okay so you can give uh, the url like this https for example google any you know uh, uh, you know dns name slash api then webhook okay and here you can give any token abc access and then verify and save but it should be you know correct and valid url otherwise it will not be verified because if you click verify and save the facebook will go and check if this url is valid and it has this um, api by the name of webhook and uh, you know uh, after you verify and save uh, you will have different uh, options here you have to uh, you know register to different features or different functions down in the list uh, there will be one uh, feature called lead generation you have to register and it will give you a sample json format according to that you have to uh, create a class here like i have created json uh, data let me go to the definition to show you so here i have um, a list of entry and then i have a string by the name of object inside entry i have changes which is again the list of change okay id time change have field and value and uh, inside value it's a class object and we have all these fields and then lead data we have these fields so you have to create these classes okay and then you have to pass it here as a parameter from body so once uh, facebook will call this web api you will receive the data here you have to get the first or default uh, entry from this data and then you have to check if there is any change and, and uh, if it is null it will give a bad request if it is not null it will go down you can you know get the access token from here let me show you that see it's sometime uh, page will not load i don't know what's the issue okay look if i click again we book it will not load this page which is weird see i don't know what's the problem 
seriously so from here here you can generate the access token you have to select the app okay for hammer get token get app token get page access token i need for the page the access token because i will be accessing the page i need the leads so i have to select the page access token then you have to log in again okay you have to select the page which page do you want after you select uh, the page next okay so you will have certain options here so you have to give the permission for the lead generation here after you get the token you get login and generate this token you will get the token here this token can either be by default it is for two months but you can get uh, lifetime as well put it here look the lead url is this one from here you will get inside the change you have value and lead generation id you will get from facebook through which you can get uh, this whole lead url it's, a, it's an api okay and this is form you will also get the form id like you can have different forms inside one page like you can have different campaign okay so you will get the form and then you will get the lead which is recently created by this lead id okay so first let's uh, you know we have initialized the http client we are passing this uh, form url okay we will get the response we will check if it's not null then we will uh, deserialize serialize the object from uh, json to this lead form data class okay and um, again we need to get the field data so here we will again you know pass this url and uh, we will get this response we will uh, deserialize into lead data okay from here uh, what you are going to do inside this you will you have a list of lead data and inside that lead data you have name okay actually you have a value and if you go to this class definition so field data you have a name and value right so name this is provided by the facebook okay these names right so what you have to do you have to check okay this is the name and then you can get the value okay this is the first name full name then the first name this is the value this is the last name you have to check if it's last name get me the value of the last name if it's name give get me the value same phone number same for work phone campaign name you can get platform you can get okay and also you can get the lead id but this lead id you have to get it from here first you know remember we got it from the uh, from here which is from form okay so you can see this right you can get the lead id campaign id and okay you can have the date time that no you can also get the uh, date time when it was created then i am saving it here in the local db uh, yeah so in the next uh, video I will explain how can we you know save this data into local DB and how can we connect to CRM and save this data into the CRM or into the Oracle thank you guys for uh, watching the video
and uh, please watch the next tutorial for uh, completing this whole project thank you